Analytics is a powerful, flexible reporting tool, allowing the irrigation of call information. It can quickly and simply locate individual calls, or be used to build up aggregated data sets, allowing detailed insight into cost, quality, bandwidth, performance, usage, and adoption. To access the Analytics module, either click on the Analytics tile on the homepage, or select Analytics from the module's drop-down list. Once in the Analytics interface, you will be presented with several options on the left. Depending on your level of access, you will see the search menu, the widget groups, my widgets, and import widgets. To create an analytics widget, if you select legs, the legs options allowed you to build up a picture of anything from individual calls or to trend analysis over any period. Within the search legs, you'll be presented with a column square, a filter square, and a group filter square. To generate data, simply select the tree on which you would run the data upon. You can then select the quick dates or specific dates. To select a quick date, simply click in the quick date drop down menu and select from the predefined set of dates. If you would like to use the specific dates, simply click on the specific date from the drop down list, select your start date in the from calendar and the to date in the end calendar. If you wish to pick specific times, simply click on the start time and then finish with the end time. To retrieve calls, choose your date period and click on the retrieve button. For our demonstration, we will be using January 2018 data. Your analytics search will have a predefined set of columns already selected. If you wish to add more columns to your search, you can do this simply by coming over to the fields on the right hand side and selecting either a dimension or a measure by clicking on these drop down lists and dragging and dropping the field into the column list or click into the list where the cursor is now blinking and start by searching the list by typing in a wildcard search to find the field that you are looking for. The more specific you are with the word, the more specific the list will be. Columns selected will then be returned in the results set in the bottom window here. You can have as many columns as you like selected in this top window here. To filter upon a column, simply drag and drop the column into the filters window here. Then simply click on the square and choose the value from the drop down list. In our example here, we will look for any calls that is greater than one hour in length. Once you've applied your filter, if you hover over the square, it will tell you what you will filter upon. Once you've applied this filter, simply click the retrieve button to return the data set. Your filter does not have to be a column you've got selected in the top window. You can also type in the field that you wish to filter in by typing in the wildcard search and selecting from the drop down mist, or again, selecting from one of the fields, the dimensions, or the measures on the right hand side and drag and dropping it into the filter. You will notice though when you select more than one filter you will now have a boolean value. This is an AND or OR. This means that you can have this value or this value or you can select it as AND so it must be this value and that value. You can also introduce parentheses by simply typing them into the filter window. This will allow you to set precedence on the filtering. Again, within the parentheses, you can either drag and drop values into here, or you can simply type the field that you're looking for. You can clear all filters by clicking on the cross at the end of the square. You will notice when applying filters that the menu options will be slightly different. For example, in calling digits, this allows you to search for particular digits using wildcards. The wildcards are available here under this information screen. You can also include or exclude these values or add multiple values. You may also find that on some windows, you have to use sliders to select values. In our example, we're going to look for any digits 
that are calling in to the office that begin with 07867. Again, we use the percent as a wildcard. And we want to look for all incoming calls. Once you have your results set, if you wish to find out more information about a specific call, rather than adding extra columns in, what you can do is select on three lines here at the end of the call. This will open up a new tab for you and contain all the information about that specific call. If there was more than one call involved, you may have multiple legs appearing in this window. But to find out more information about that call, simply click the leg that you're interested in. Then on the left hand side, simply select these options here and it will display more information about the specific call. To return back to your previous window, simply click on the previous tab on your browser window. You can also remove individual filters by simply clicking on the cross at the end of each menu option. You also have the ability to reorder the columns. To do this, just simply drag and drop the columns into the order in which you wish to see them. Within analytics, you can also run mathematical statistics about your data. So to do this, what you'll need to do is create what's called a widget. Widgets are built up by running mathematical statistics against your dimensions using measures. You will notice a key distinction between the two colors of the fields. The darker colors are dimensions and the lighter colors are measures. So in our example here, we want to find out how long we've been on the phone to specific call categories, what the total amount of talk time to the specific call category, what our longest call was to that, and an average talk time to the category. So to do this, I will first remove all our filters. I will then leave the call category column available along with talk time and remove all our other columns. And I will also leave our leg count. Our leg count will tell us how many times we have called that call category. I will then add talk time two more times. And if I now run this, you will now see that I will have lots of different lines. So what I can now do is I can click on these measures and choose a value. So on this option here, I want to sum up the total amount of talk time. On my next option, I then want to look for what is my longest call, i.e. my maximum. So this will look for the largest value of that data set. I can then click on my third option and look for my average, now giving me the average talk time. Finally, leaving me with the leg count. In this option, I want to count how many times this has happened. Now, if I run this widget, you will see that I will get a call category, the total amount of talk time, what was my longest call, and what was my average call, and how many times we've called that specific category. Because I have no filter set, what I can now do is I could filter maybe on the call direction of the calls, showing the specific direction of the calls I want to look for. In this instance, I will want to look for incoming calls. This now will return how many incoming calls we've had from these categories. Once I then have this data set here, I can now apply a group filter to the data. Group filters allow you to filter the data results set here. For example, I may want to find out how many inbound calls I've had from a category where the total amount of talk time exceeds three hours. So to do this, I take the sum of the talk time into my group filter. I then say that I want to look for it where it's greater than three hours. It will then filter on my result set only show me where the call category has a total sort time of greater than three hours. Once you then have this data, you then have the ability to export it to a CSV file or to an Excel document. Or you could click on the export button, share this with a colleague. All you simply do is copy the data, send it in an email to them. They then paste it into the import widget here, click confirm, and the widget will appear exactly the same as it did on your screen on their screen. Finally, you have the options to save the widget by clicking on the save button and giving the widget a name. You then can save the widget just for me to my widget group or to a specific widget group. 
Once you have created your widgets, you can simply then come over to the left hand side and select your widget. In here, you can then again choose your dates from your drop down list. And within saved widgets, you can also filter within each column. Again, you can then export your data from this stage. Thank you for watching. We hope you have enjoyed this tutorial on analytics. If there's anything else you would like to learn about Tiger Prism and its other modules, please visit www.tigercoms.com for more tutorials and information.